It's time for the final meeting. The last clash. The final hits of the regular season. Now it's all about fine-tuning the details. And of course, the celebrations for postseason play. Make the most of tonight. Because next week, a new season begins. We're the Southern Green Cheerleaders, and you're watching ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday. This is ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday, sponsored by Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer. When you have one shot to win it all. What is up, everyone? Welcome to week nine of Sports Zone Football Friday. I don't know how we made it here. I'm ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones alongside Chanel Porter. The last week of regular season is here, and teams really putting their best foot forward to get some momentum going in the playoffs. It really did, like I said, though, fly by this time. Yeah, well, they have to put their best <laughs> foot forward. Last regular season game, and we still had that nice weather out I was there. Like short sleeves. Not much more we could ask for. You cannot ask for more. Let's get to some of that action. Southern Boone hosting Blair Oaks on senior night tonight. So Boko honored their guys before the game started up. Eagles looking to disrupt the Falcons' undefeated season. And what has been branded the Bird Bowl? I don't know who started it, Did but you make that up? rumor is it's me. <laughs> I don't know. First play of the game, we love special teams. Eagles going for the onside kick. Blair Oaks almost has it, but look at that. It is Eagle football on oh, the first play of the game. What a way to come out. And on that drive, you have to capitalize. Austin Evans rolling out. Finds his man Brady Dapkus just hanging out on the outside. Makes a man miss and gets him for a touchdown. For the Falcons, didn't expect it to start that way. I mean, Southern Boone coming out firing in this game. What a way to start 6-0 after that. Eagles going for another onside kick. It worked once. How about again? Took a bounce. And look at that. It looks like Southern Boone recovered. But it's called Falcon football. Mark Ross not happy about it, but on that drive, here comes the unbeaten Falcons. Dylan Hare does it all, goes in untouched into the land of six, and that's a big response. Now 7-6, Falcons on top. That Blairos offense, you know, we know it can get rolling quickly. This time, the handoff to Hayden Lackman, and he's dropping in for a touchdown. 14-6, Blair Oaks, first quarter. Winding down now, Falcons with the ball. Hare hits Alec Weiber. Look at this, he's wrapped up, being flung all around there. The ball is fumbled, and Tristan McKee jumps on top of it. It's Eagle football again. But no score on that one, so Blair Oaks still on top in this game. As Ted LePage looks on, now 21-6, Falcons, and Hare is dropping back. Look at this, a beautiful one. In stride to Adam Hall for another touchdown in the first quarter. Falcons stay undefeated this season. Perfect, winning 63-6. to Well, down in Jefferson City tonight, we have the last game of the regular season at Ray Hench's Stadium as Helias. It's already 21-6 to Crusaders in the first, but they aren't stopping there. Drew Miller finds Trey Bexton. It's going to be 28-6 to to end the first quarter. What a start for Helias. The Griffins turn with the rock. Caden Wood finds Jack Burke on the side for the first down. So we're going to get back into this one. Same possession. Wood, a lot of pressure back there, and he's brought down by That's Logan Montoya, forcing them to punt back to Helias. Miller's handoff, this time going to Alex Marbury. He's breaking tackles. Gets loose for a huge 40-yard pickup in Griffins' territory. Crusaders inching closer to the end zone. Miller fakes the handoff and finds Bexton again to set up first and goal. That duo unstoppable tonight. Next play, Miller's handoff this time to Mason French. He stays on his feet and powers his way through, making it 35 to six in the second quarter. And the Crusaders end up taking it 59 to 13. Last regular season game of the year at Atkins Stadium as Capital City hosts Kirkville. First possession of the game, a handoff to Jalen Thomas. He's breaking loose and flying into the end zone. Put the back burners on on that one. Shot out of a rocket there. First possession, first touchdown for the Cats. Now they're looking to keep it going on defense. Tigers with it. Thrown up and picked off by Dante McRoberts. <laughs> Just standing there waiting. He's taking it back in the red zone. He's not down yet. And he goes all the way in for the touchdown. Early in this game, it's already 14 to nothing, Capital City. Everyone's fired up, but they're not done yet. Tigers back with it. We have a huge sack in the backfield by Landon McNeil. Cavs playing physical tonight. 
same possession. Kirkville pitches it out. Another huge stop in the backfield. This one from Joe Schaefer. And Capital City goes on to win it big, 54-15. to Big win for the Cavs. Battle made the trip down to Hannibal to meet a tough Pirates team for the regular season finale at Porter Stadium early on. Mizzou offered Aeneas Williams trying to get the run game going, but not on Elijah Jackman. Stops him in his tracks. That's tough to do. How about some offense? Justin Goolsby has been so good all year when he does this. Using his feet. Huge gain on third and long. And he finishes it off with a touchdown on his feet as well. How else would you want to finish it? Battle keeps it tight with Hannibal, but does end up falling 27 to 21. Scoreboard now, Francis Howell takes down Rockbridge 59-21. Hickman squeezes past Belleville West 22-20. Camdenton and Glendale are in overtime right now, tied up at 29. Osage blanks for sales 52-0. Boonville gets it done against Eldon 34-24. California squeezes one out against Hallsville 41-38. Fulton gets their first win of the season 28-20 against Winfield. And Mexico wins it against Warrington 33-19. What a big game tonight, but we have a lot more coming up, so stay with us. Equip, educate, and empower a loved one with developmental disabilities by enrolling in Palmer's Home Care Day program. Palmer's professional staff will provide individualized support to every person served so they will gain skills to live healthy and fulfilling lives. Fun, free activities such as outings, classes, and therapeutic horseback riding enhance social skills and develop meaningful relationships. Your loved one will experience life with more pleasure and meaning at a Palmer's Home Care Day program. Call today to set up a tour at a location near you. I love my new Ram from Jim Butler CDJR. <sighs> so does everyone else. Who's Jane? And why do I have to haul her tiny house? At least I got the best price and the most for my trade-in. Jim Butler CDJR is one of the top-selling Ram dealers in the Midwest. See for yourself in Lynn and Centralia. Jim Butler is the Ram. I really need to change my number. Finding the Honda you really want just got easier. With a longer limited warranty, so long. Downloadable inspection reports, so you see what we see. Downloadable. And complimentary oil changes within the first year. That's what I'm talking about. You've never been more at peace than with Honda Certified Pre-Owned. T-Mobile Home Internet yet? Trim your hedge. It's 50 bucks a month with no price hikes. Bam! Sir! It runs on T-Mobile's wireless 5G network. So all you gotta do is plug in one cord. T-Mobile 5G Home Internet. Just 50 bucks a month. No price hikes, no hidden fees. I did it. Ah! I switched to T-Mobile Home Internet and I am loving it. Don't sneak up on me like that. Why didn't you tell me to switch earlier? China's actions raising alarms in American farm country and on Capitol Hill as Chinese investors buy up U.S. farms and food companies, posing a major threat to our national security. In Missouri, Eric Schmidt voted twice to allow communists from China to buy our farmland. And China's now bought Missouri land three times the size of Lake of the Ozarks. Eric Schmidt, he'd be China's senator. I'm Trudy Bush Valentine, and I approve this message. I'll be nobody's senator but yours. Trudy Bush Valentine is an heiress. She comes from billions and doesn't care about what inflation is doing to your wallet. In D.C., Trudy would be a vote for more spending and higher taxes. I'm Eric Schmidt. My dad worked seven days a week in the midnight shift at Anheuser-Busch. My blue-collar roots run deep. I'll stop Biden's tax and spend agenda dead in its tracks. A limousine liberal or a fighter for Missouri families? You decide. I'm Eric Schmidt, and I approve this message. Need to refresh your room in your home? Yeah, have you seen this place? Well, right now, you can get a look you love and save big. During the final days of the home makeover sale at Furniture Row. Shop today, because the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. You'll also find huge savings on living, dining, bedroom, and mattresses. Plus, get four years no interest financing. I love it. But don't wait. The home makeover sale at Furniture Row ends soon.
Welcome back. All the cheerleaders did a great job this yeah. season. We love to see it. <laughs> These next two teams are both at the same point in their seasons with four and four records. Tonight was the determining factor of who will end up, obviously, with a winning record this season. Yeah, both the Jefferson City Jays and Mo the Moverly Spartans have struggled to get over that hump this season, but they've shown fight in every single game. That's what you like to see. Jefferson City making the trip up 63 to Moverly tonight for the game the last two schools played in 1957. Moverly High School wasn't even built at the time. We picked things up in the second quarter with JC leading 21 nothing and Rodney Wilson gets it in the end zone. 95 yard touchdown is going to make it 28 to 0. Moberly looking to get this thing working. QB Colin Huffman with the pass to Darius Wallace for 32 yards. They can't bring him down. Moberly going to keep this drive going. They have one reverse, another, another reverse. It's like the Cupid shuffle. Reverse. Come on, Tiger ends up two yards out for the score. He's going to make it 28 to 7. Shout out to the band there, but JC isn't finished in this first half. Jay's closing it out with a 29 yard field goal by Kendrick Jordan to take the lead 31 to 7 at the break. Second half action, Jacob Wilson for Jefferson City, tough 13 yard run up the gut. Zane Wings here with a 13 yard touchdown run. Jefferson City pulling away and the Jays end up winning this one, 58 to 14. Well, back here in Columbia, Father Tolton hosting the Fayette Falcons. Lots of scoring here. Shout out to our news director, Scott Flanagan, for picking Woo! up a camera tonight. We love to see a Blazers start the scoring for us. Jake Ryan to Cameron Lee. That connection has been working all year long. 7-0 Tolton to start this game. Still first quarter, Jake Ryan having himself a season and having himself a night. Hits the other Lee. This time it's James Lee in stride. That is another Blazer touchdown and a two-score lead for the home team. The Lee brothers. Minutes later, Falcons within a score and DJ Moore ties things up, punching it in for six. Everyone's up at 14 right now. Second quarter, Fayette looking for some more. How about this? Ben Wells looking to go deep here. He's dropping back, but so is James Lee. Excuse me, interception. Look at that. It's Tolton football. Heck of a play. And they capitalize on it too. Ryan hits Sam Ryan over the middle for a TD and Tolton ends it with a win 40 to 36 tonight. Scoreboard now, Macon takes down Centralia 20 to 14. Smith Cotton takes down Hogan Prep 47 to eight. Harrisburg gets the job done against Scotland County 56 to six. South Callaway takes down Montgomery County in a close game 28 to 22. North Callaway falls to Bowling Green 61 to 12. Brookfield defeats Highland 34 to six. And Marceline shuts out Paris 35 to nothing. Well, we aren't done yet. We have one more highlight to get to tonight in West Strand as they host the Salisbury Panthers. Well, both of these teams struggling to get over that 500 mark, but let's see if they can get that before playoffs start up. That'd be some momentum. Couldn't ask for a more perfect night for football in Randolph County. West Strand hosting Salisbury Hornets. Quick to start this one. Handoff to Nate Cribs and watch out because he's headed to the crib. Making a house call early in the minutes of this game. 6-0 to start second quarter now. 16-0 West Rand. Cooper Harvey keeps it himself, and that's another touchdown. West Rand blanks Salisbury in this one. 44-0. Battle of the Cats, Centralia in white, Macon in black, tied at 7. This one, Michael Lanier drive, third and long, scans the field, decides to take it himself. Gets just enough to get the first and continue the drive. Later on, same possession, Lanier using his legs again, fighting time until he finds an open receiver. All over the place. Downfield, Boston Douglas goes up and gets it. Biggest play of the Tigers drive, but Macon ends up pulling away to win it. 20 to 14. Scoreboard now Cameron defeated Marshall 24 to 7. Union beats Herman 21 14 to complete a perfect regular season. How about that? Pacific down St. James 29 to 12. Louisiana comes right back to beat Wright City 50 to 47. Lincoln defeats Wellington Napoleon big time 54 14. Mark Twain goes big over Van Farr 64 to 8. And Holden gets a big win over Nob Noster 44 to 6.